These peaceful scenes on the streets of Wabag belie the violent reality unfolding on the outskirts of town. A respected elder of the community has died. His family says he was more than 100 years old. But the man's village is in the middle of a tribal warfare zone. So getting his body home isn't straightforward. Thank you. Thank you so much for a convoy of defence and police is needed to escort the body back. But since the area has been a no-go zone because of the massive fighting. And you said there was a lot of death here? There was a lot of death here. 80 deaths. Tribal fighting is not new to Enga province or other parts of PNG's highlands. It was traditionally used to resolve disputes over land or resources. But modern life and modern weapons are changing things. The first thing that I came, people were fighting with uh, bow and arrows and a couple of uh, uh, homemade shotguns. I've seen it, the trend change. More arms are being used now than it was done before. Significant violence in this region started during last year's national election, with tribes aligned down local candidate and party lines. People here were not happy with the result, the way the election was uh, conducted, and also claims and allegations of uh, hijacking and fraud and uh, bribery and inducement, and uh, they all, uh, uh, all these problems led up to the, the fighting. At a neighbouring village called Toll, people are too scared to stay. In February, 11 people were killed in a massacre at Toll. The graves of the victims are scattered around the village. It's quite eerie here in Toll. After the massacre, people fled and so far they've been too scared to return. So the village sits empty. But we meet one local passing through. I got my boys and we, just, uh, we came to the scene. But we were, we were just late when, when we see uh, all the bodies were lying all over the place and the culprits were all gone. Police have been stationed out here since. So we, we camped just in between the two, uh, two tribes to, uh, to protect them from contact with each other. The killings were because of a dispute over stolen guns taken by a different tribe in a previous fight. <laughs> Now when big blood ting ting and um this la ting ting jol stop. Mixing one blanc gun and me stop and bow right stop low place. And money too short. Proving who is paying for the guns, arming tribesmen and bringing in mercenaries remains difficult. For minor petty offences we've arrested a lot of them. A hundred over. But uh, for major offences like gun smuggling, uh, firearms. It's about uh, four or five cases. It appears guns and ammunition are smuggled across the Indonesian border. Police are regularly outgunned and outnumbered. The population has exploded. We, we've got about 600,000 in this province and we have 200 policemen. And uh, you know, I'm very sorry for the people there who suffered because we couldn't reach them. But that's a sad reality of what uh, I'm faced as a commander. So, as soon as he comes tomorrow. As Australia and PNG finalise a new security treaty, the police chief is keen to get more help from the country's nearest neighbour. In the wake of the massacre at Toll, nine of the victims were brought to the police station as part of a call for justice. A prominent businessman and community leader called for peace and for there to be no retaliation killings.
Paul Kurai is now helping mediate peace in another part of the province. We've been granted access to witness the process. I'm one man who's neutral to everybody. I had to come in to stop the fight. Police, army and the mediation team have come to meet with members of one of the tribes. The situation remains tense as the rain comes down. We truly want to stop this fight. And I think uh, there's no, no hidden agendas behind us. And are you hopeful the other tribes will also want to stop the fight? I hope. This is a political related warfare, which will be complicated to stop because customarily only two people involved in fight, like uh, two tribes, neighboring tribes. With a fast growing population, creating opportunities for the young people of PNG is essential. This group is for widows of tribal fighting.